Hola, hola, hola. ¿Cómo están, mis amores? ¿Cómo están haciendo hoy? Este, today, how are you? How are you doing? Welcome, IPGG Squad, Independent Pretty Girlies. Um, I hope you're taking care of yourself and hope you're having a good day. So, with this video, I want us to take a look at and talk more about the effects of gender disparities on men. Um, and I say men because that's the title of the video, but y'all know that I am a firm believer that we need to correct, like we need to correct the way in which we address this species. For women, we're all women, but for the male species, they're males you know, and you'll see why I'm saying that, you know, because I know a lot of people might say, oh, IPGG, you're so, you're so tough. You're so like, um, you know, you're so mean, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah, right. Have you seen the statistics on gender-based violence against women? D did you know that it's literally a, a world crisis because the United Nations has and has been, um, for a while, for years, deemed it a world crisis. Gender-based violence against women is literally a wor world crisis and it was deemed so by the United Nations. If you haven't seen the video that I made on that where I literally show you the research article and we go through it, um, make sure to watch that video right after this one so you can be informed and educated. Also, the link is going to be left below in this video to that same uh, research article that is based on um, research, facts, data, okay, from the United Nations directly, okay? The United Nations is comprised of 193 nations. <laughs> There's a lot of nations, okay? So, anywho, I want us to take a look at the effects of gender disparities on males and that really particularly is in the United States, it's what is, is within where we're going to be looking because different parts of the world have different things going on. <laughs> but for the most part, the one thing that's consistent across the world that also bothers me is that, you know, males do not care for nor do they appreciate or value women. And we're seeing that across the world. In Japan, women are choosing not to give birth. The birth rate in Japan has been declining for several, several years. They are facing extinction. Elon Musk, Elon Musk, I think that's how you pronounce his name, Elon Musk, Musk uh, he tweeted about it a while ago. I believe he referred, it was Japan he was referring to, um, and how you know, if they don't do something, they're going to go extinct over there. One of the most frustrating things that I've seen when it comes to Japan is that a lot of the Japanese people are kind of like in this state of disbelief and denial. So they'll say things like, yeah, no, the government is going to fix it or we're going to build more robots. And and I, I get so uh, frustrated with that because I start thinking, well, when are you going to be more when? like we can't just wait, like we have to do something. Anyways, I digress. I'm going way too far into <laughs> world issues. So sorry, y'all. It's just, these are my interests. And so I actually, my YouTube space is fairly concise in certain topics that I address, but the things that I actually read about, think about, there's a variety there in that space. So let's go ahead and take a look at this data here because this is gonna this is gonna be crazy y'all y'all are gonna be <sighs> let's let's go ahead and get get started also before we get started please go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button for me please um it helps the channel so much and thank you so much for being here um i really appreciate it i love that you're sharing some of your time with me um and I can't wait to hear what your views are, what your thoughts are on this particular subject as well, okay? So leave a comment below. 
um, on what your views and thoughts are on this. It wasn't so long ago that men enjoyed a clear advantage in American society. But these days, a different story is emerging. Men and boys falling behind and sometimes into despair. Lee Cowan takes a closer look. At the University of Vermont not too long ago, it was move-in day for the class of 2027. He's from my hometown. About a thousand incoming freshmen were meeting their roommates, finding their dorm rooms, and just generally getting settled on campus. 592 is that day. Now you'd be forgiven if at first glance you thought that this was an all women's college. Well, 62% of this year's class are women. Josie, what's your roommate's name? And that's a gender gap that has earned Burlington, Vermont, a nickname, Girlington. You see six or Girlington, I like that. <laughs> who run the world, girls? Who run the world? Who knew she meant it literally? <laughs> who knew that she meant it literally? Y'all, when I tell you these males are super uneducated, you keep fighting over the most uneducated species on earth, you, you don't mean then I have to show you the data, 62%. And that's just one school. All the schools are seeing this, this major, major gender gap. So seven women for every three or four men. Yeah. As UVM's vice provost for enrollment. Seven women for every three or four men. That's insane. That is literally insane. That is literally insane. Stop fighting for this sub spar species, ladies. Jay Jacobs' job is all about student diversity. And these days, the male-female divide is now part of that equation. Sure, I thought about racial and ethnic diversity. Right. Sure, at a public flagship in the state of Vermont, I've thought about geographic diversity, never gender diversity like that. But that's where we are. That's where we are. UVM, though, is hardly an outlier. Nationwide, women do make up almost 60 percent of college undergraduates. In 1972, when Title IX was passed to help improve gender equality. 60 percent nationwide, over 60% or almost 60% minimally of undergraduate degrees nationally is women, is made up of women. So what are we talking about here? Why in the world would we listen to a male? They don't even know, they don't know anything. They're, they're uneducated, literally uneducated. quality on campus, men were 13 percentage points more likely to get an undergraduate degree than women. Today, though, it's women who are 15 percentage points more likely to get a degree. Do y'all see this? Even in 1972, when they had the advantage, they were only 15 points more likely. We not only blew past them in just a few decades, because 1972, y'all, I don't know if you realize this was not that long ago. This was less than 20 years before I was born, literally less than 20 years before I was born. And now I'm in my early 30s, very early 30s. This was not that long ago. This was literally a few decades ago. So what are we talking about here? When they make all these excuses, even though the pat patriarchy caters to them, they're still losing so badly. Not even losing, but getting left behind. In a world, in a system, that they created and they had hundreds and hundreds of years of a head start hundreds of years of a head start
So for bachelor's degrees, in the 1972, in 1972, men were, were earning it at about uh, uh, 13 points more likely, at uh, about 13 points more likely rate. So it was about 56, 56.4% and women were about 43.6%. Mind you, for several, several years, several hundreds of years, these males kept us enslaved. We could not work. We could not open bank accounts. Couldn't get our house on our own. We had no rights. And now I'm starting to see that the reason they did that is because early on, they knew how stupid they are. They knew this would happen. But I don't think they, I think even with them knowing, they still didn't know. Because at the end of the day, tell me how idiotic you have to be when you're the one that created this whole system and you're falling this far behind. It is astronomical. It literally took us a few decades, two or three decades, 10 years, when you've had hundreds of years of a head start. Ladies, stop chasing after these animals. They are literally dumb. They are literally a sub subpar species to the woman. There is no escaping that. And I am actually a super, super, I try to be super fair. But once I, even I started looking at the data, I said, I cannot avoid the reality. This is the reality. They are subpar below us. We cannot help them. We cannot save them. If they want to be saved, they got to save themselves. And I don't see that happening. Not when they're spending all their time creating the manosphere and blah, 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 and blaming everything on women. They will go extinct. I don't even know what they think is happening in the world today. Free than men. So we have a big agenda gap today than we did when we passed laws to help women and girls. It's just flipped. Richard Reeves is a Brookings Institution senior fellow, and he says, shockingly, no one has really been able to explain why so many men are so absent in higher education. What is because they dumb. They're dumb. When it comes to women, we've literally had to earn every single right. Our ancestors, our women ancestors, have died, have sacrificed, have worked their butts off to make sure that women Today, us today have the opportunities that we have. What have males done? Males haven't done anything but try to continuously oppress us, try to continuously subdue us. All of that time they could have been spending making sure that they themselves evolve. But they weren't worried about that. They weren't spending all of those hundreds of years instead of doing the inner work to make sure they themselves evolve. They wanted the shortcut. So they decided to subdue and suppress women instead externally. They wanted a shortcut. This is what a shortcut gets you, your own demise. Now they're like, oh, we don't know why, we can't explain why. You sure? Because it seems pretty obvious to me, sir.
And even today, women continue to do the work. We do the work. We do all the work. And they think, these males think that's good for them. The idiocracy, that's good for you. You are going to go extinct because you are not evolving. When the woman is literally flying past you. Flying past you. Because we are continuing and continuously build these inner core traits that are absolutely essential for the continuation of evolution. Strength, control, emotional intelligence, dedication, consistency. The male has none of it. And when I say male, if you haven't, if you're not familiar with my videos, I will let you know, but you should, after this video, go get yourself familiar with some of this data that I present in my videos. When I say male, males, I'm referring to 97 to 98% of males around the world. All around the world, not even just within the United States. 97 to 98% of them are, are, are subpar degenerates. And it's even worse because they because they have no inner self-awareness, they don't even know, or actually, I, I think subconsciously they know, but they just don't even want to address or admit the fact that they are completely useless to Mother Nature, the Earth, and society. And how can you start working on fixing something when you refuse to admit to yourself that there's a problem here? So when I say males, I'm referring to 97 to 98% of them. The other 1 to 3% are the outliers. Not because it's not in their nature to be subpar to the woman, because they still are. But they're outliers because they have been able to get to a point where they're able to directly fight against their nature on a daily basis. Therefore, yielding them better results in the external environment. If you haven't watched my video, it's titled Alpha Males versus Beta Males. Go ahead and watch that. If you're a male and somehow you ended up on this video and you always trying to say that, uh, think that you are the exception, oh, I'm not like that, I'm not like that, you are. Do you want to, you want me to prove that you're like that? Go watch that video that I have up. Um, when it comes, uh, it's titled, uh, it's the same video. It's titled Alpha versus Beta Males. So you can see who you really are. Is known is the gender disparity starts pretty early, as early as kindergarten, where girls are just generally the stronger sex in academics. If you look at high school GPA, starts as early as kindergarten you tell me how it is that males have the bigger brain their brain is literally bigger and they dumber like they're like it's like the size of their brain is proportionate with how stupid they are again this is 97 to 98 percent of them i'm actually really generous because i give them one to three percent because i'm leaving room for error So this goes to show, ladies, just because you have more of something or something is bigger does not make it better. It has to function efficiently. It has to function effectively. That is what our, the woman's brain, has. And while we continue to evolve, these males continue to devolve. and those who are getting the best uh, grades in high school, two-thirds of them are girls. Those with the lowest grades, two-thirds of them are boys. 
It's been theorized that girls and women are just... Those getting the best grades in high school, two-thirds of them are girls. Those getting the lowest grades in high school, two-thirds of them are boys. You see? Then they start wondering why women don't want to go, go anywhere close to them with the 10-foot pole. Not even with the 10-foot pole. Not six feet. You know, we're doing six feet in, in the COVID. You need to give me 10 feet, please, minimum. 10 feet, please. Because I don't want the dumb to rub off. <laughs> Goodness. Really fulfilling their destiny. That once the limitations on their achievements were lifted, they soared. Reeves, though is so worried that he's launched the American Institute for Boys and Men because he fears that things have changed so fast it's left many boys and men struggling to catch up, not just in the classroom, but at work and at home too. What does it mean to be a successful man today? That was a question that was pretty easy to answer a generation or two ago. But actually, what is the answer today? And a lot of these guys just don't know. In short, he says, millions of boys and men don't understand how or where they fit anymore. And the reaction is to generally disconnect. Men's participation in the labor market, for example, has dropped more than seven percentage points just in the last 50 years. 21% of men report binge drinking. That's almost double the rate of women. And men... No. So their solution is to stop working. Their solution is to stop trying. They have no girt. They have no drive. They don't even have strength. Why? Why? Because they haven't been building it. Us women, we've been building all of those things. Men, it would really suck to be a male. I am so happy that I am not a male. Because of all the hardships, they thought they were doing us wrong. Yet the whole time, They've been helping us build. <laughs> Let's take a look at the binge. So the first, before we take a look at the suicidal rates, because this is another one, males, this idiotic, uneducated males always try to say, and it's like, what data are you looking at? You're not even looking at the data. You're, you're still stuck in trying to find excuses. And you, in the midst of you not addressing the problem head on, you will go extinct. You don't have all the time that you think you have. Okay, so we're going to look at the suicidal rates because they like to say, oh, women are so unhappy. Women can't be alone. They are, they always, that's why they're always trying to hurt themselves and take themselves out. <laughs> yeah, right. It sounds like projecting to me. But notice how the binge drinking rate is double that of a woman's. So they turn to alcohol. Start drinking, fall off the working, the, the labor market. Hot mess. Complete useless species to society and Mother Nature herself. But then they'll try to make it seem like we're the ones that fall off. I think we all know that, at least I think we all know the statistics, especially on the drinking. We just looked at it. Account for nearly 80% of suicide deaths. That's four times the rate for women. Suicide deaths. In 2021, M males account for almost 80%, 80% of suicide deaths. Women, 20%. Like these numbers, when I tell y'all in all my other videos that the numbers are astronomical and I'm just being generous, like in one of my other videos that I recently posted, 
I was being generous and I was using conservative numbers like 30, 40%. I think when I even said, um, you know, women are getting college degrees at like 20, 30% um, over what males are doing. I was being generous. It is higher than that. Literally, schools and bachelor's degrees, 60% of those degrees are women. So when you see my video and you try to say, oh, she's so mean, look, listen, this is the data. This is what we have. This is what's happening. And I'm actually very generous compared to what the data actually says. But the only reason I'm generous is if I don't have that data right in front of me, I'll go a little bit more conservative. Because even the conservative conservative route, even the conser conservative route, even in that route, the numbers and the difference between males and women is astronomical. Even with me being conservative, we wipe these males clean. They don't stand a chance. That's why I can do that so comfortably. But look at the suicide deaths. Males account for 80%. So ladies, when you're wondering why this male is treating you so badly, it's because they have a lot of internal hate. They literally hate themselves. And what ends up happening is that instead of working on themselves and working on that, figuring out what's going on there, they project, they find, they try to look for shortcuts. Think of male, the word male, think of that as a synonym to shortcut. Literally. So they, in them trying to look for shortcuts, that's when they start projecting and assuming you. So it's not you, it is him. He literally hates himself. So when you have a male that's mistreating you, putting hands on you, um, you literally, you are literally a, 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 a goddess. You're lit you literally own everything. Do not allow that. Do not allow that to happen. Make sure to properly vet these males. If he grabs you any type of tight, you out. Don't ever speak to him again. Even if he grabs your finger in, in a weird way. It's like, please do not touch me. They, you, if you're wondering, oh, why did that happen to me? It's because they hate themselves. They literally, that internal hate. Can you imagine how, how it must feel to literally hate yourself from the inside? That's what's happening with them. And what they end up doing is they take that hate, instead of figuring out why that's happening and working on themselves, they project it on you. And that comes out in the form of gaslighting, assuming, essay, a psychological asus, mental asus, replace the S with a B. Do not tolerate that. I am showing you that you ladies own everything. We own everything. Even I, when I started looking at the numbers, I couldn't believe what I was seeing. Couldn't believe what I was seeing. Because I had been in school this whole time, once I got to PhD level, then I sat down and I said, okay, now I got my time. Now I want to take a look at what these, these, this data is, is saying as it pertains to the rest of the world. And I could not believe what I saw. This is the truth. And you still have males that will go here trying to gaslight women, trying to say that women are so sad, they're so miserable. That's why they always take themselves out. That's why they always uh, uh, um, delete themselves. That's a lie from the pit of hell. This is the truth. They'll go around saying that's why women are so depressed, blah, blah, blah. No. You know what the major difference is? If a woman is depressed, she takes the necessary steps. She's she's literally a hundred times more 
proactive than the male. So she will vocalize it. She will go to therapy. She will take the steps, journal, go outside, go on walks. So this is why the numbers look like this. Males don't do that. They sit here trying to project their own demise and their own self-hate on women. When it has nothing to do with us, stay away from us, please. You are a subpar species. So they, 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 they're lying even about that. No, women are not the ones that are more depressed. No, women are not the ones that are deleting themselves. You can see the pie chart here. You take 80% of that chart. 80. The two most commonly used words by suicidal men to describe themselves were useless and worthless. But even to suggest there's some kind of male crisis these days is pretty perilous. Merely raising it will cause people to eye roll and say, really? <laughs> 10,000 years of patriarchy, now you're worried? After all, women still earn only about 80 cents for every dollar earned by a man. Only a fraction. 82 cents for every dollar. And, and, and they're still trying to build stuff for males. We live in a patriarchy. It's been 10,000 years of a patriarchy. And in 10,000 years, you mean to tell me that you struggling? Ladies, I need you to understand this. I need you to understand this unequivocally. You will not end up with a male that has had 10,000 years to grow, evolve, succeed, but is still in the same place that he was 10,000 years ago. When he's exhibiting behaviors like gaslighting, Asus saying things, saying, using his words, but his actions don't follow. They don't back it up. He needs to go. You need to leave him, literally. He's had 10,000 years to figure this out. Underneath the patriarchy. Now he wants to cry us a river. Cry me a river. And we still don't even make as much as them. And we are wiping them clean. It is, I mean, it's done. They're done. Wiping them clean. We make 82 cents of every dollar a male makes for doing the exact same job. But yet they want to sit there, blah, 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 blah. worthless, useless, blah, 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 blah. what? We don't even make as much as you. Look at this statistic. 86.2% of males are Fortune 500 CEOs, 147 males, versus 7.1%, 53 women. But you want us to feel sorry for you because you are you put yourself in a position that you did not even earn. And now you're suffering because you don't actually have the, the, the real skill sets. You don't have the skill sets. So as time goes on and evolution and growth is required, you are not able to deliver because you forcefully put yourself in a role that you actually don't have the skill sets to deliver on. That's why there's 447 uh, males as Fortune 500 CEO company, uh, C CEO, uh, CEOs. They don't even deserve to be there. They put themselves there, but they want us to feel sorry for them because their species is literally being eradicated. They're eradicating themselves. It's not, we, we're not even doing anything to them. We literally, what we're doing is focusing on ourselves. We're starting to build more groups and communities, especially on the social media. But I'm suffering so much as a male, yet you have capitalized 86.2% of 
of the CEO positions of Fortune 500 companies. Sir, goodbye. of CEOs in the Fortune 500 are women, and they make up just a quarter of the members of Congress, and so far, no U.S. presidents. Literally, no U.S. presidents. They make up barely a quarter of Congress, and yet they are deteriorating. They are deteriorating at a rate quicker than, than, than anything I've ever seen. You cannot tell me nothing. I do not feel bad for you at all. Like, I don't feel, I literally, like, literally, and I'm the most, I'm very empathetic. I will, in a different video, because I do videos in, like, personality types, I'm an INFJ, I will show my personality type to you. And even for me, I look at this and I'm like, I cannot even feel sorry for your species. I can't do it. You have had every upper hand imaginable. Imaginable. Till this day, there has been no women president. If you would have done yourself a favor and put women presidents in there, you wouldn't be deteriorating as quickly as you are. You might not even be deteriorating at all because at least we would be able to have more resources to try and help guide you because you need some serious guidance. But now you want to cry me a river. Sir, don't cry me a river. I don't feel sorry for you. Numbers that leave UVM student Sarah Wood and Maxine Florida pretty skeptical that men are just treading water. And I think it's yeah, really like whatever. There is kind of like a big fuss about like not a fuss, but it's it's, it's a conversation that people are having. But I don't think it's necessarily a problem. I think that. I, I don't either. It's like, I think they're whining, they're being babies. And it's like, what are you whining about? It is so unattractive. It is so unattractive. These male species are just like, ill. don't even come near me with that, that all of that nonsense. Literally barely one fourth, not even one fourth, quite, not even quite one fourth of the political arena is made up of women. We just looked at the CEO numbers. There's barely there's barely any women there either. It's like 400 and approximately 440 men versus um the handful of women. So what are you crying about? What are you crying to me about? Because I just don't feel sorry for you. I don't think that you're suffering in the way you want us to think you're suffering. And honestly, you on your own because women are going to keep focusing on, we're going to keep focusing on ourselves and on our growth like we've been doing. Cry me a river. Cry me a river, losers. Just the fact that the playing field has been a little bit more evened out shouldn't be the reason as to why men don't really know where they fit. Sure. Do we this need to crazy. do more to encourage more women into politics and into, in, into boardrooms? Yes. But meanwhile, can I not see that one group is struggling here and another group is struggling there? And if I can't do that, we're in really deep trouble. Look at this. He glosses over those numbers, glosses over the fact that we are still the minority. Women are still the minority. We still, we still don't have the rights that we're supposed to have. We only make 82 cents out of every dollar a male makes. But you still want to give even more resources to the male species. What return on investment do you think you will get? They've had 10,000 years of patriarchy and you're still in the negative when it comes to return on investment, ROI. But he just glosses over our needs and says, well, yeah, whatever, I guess, yeah, we sure, we need to do more about that. But anyways, what about the males? We, sir, we don't care about the males. You are on your own. You've had 10,000 years to figure it out. And you're still, and you are still monopolizing leadership positions till this day. Cry me a river. 
Cry me a river. And those in the most trouble, he says, are working class and African-American boys and men. Before it used to be you graduated. Ladies, stay away from these black males. I keep trying to tell you. Unless they figure it out for themselves, you can't save them. You cannot help them. It is not your place, especially if you are a black woman, to defend these males. Stay away from the black males. It's sad to say, but they're not even helping themselves. They throw you under the bus. They use you. They step all over you. What are you still doing there? Leave them in the dust. You are too hardworking. You are too organized. You are too consistent to still be dealing with the black male species. Leave, they need to figure it out themselves. You are not their mom. And when I say you are not their mom, I mean, I'm talking to you ladies that are getting in relationships with these males, these black males, and handicapping them because you're doing everything for them. Stop dating them. Stop doing everything for them. They are literally even below us when it comes to socioeconomic status. So they're not even trying. So what, what are you doing? In high school, goodbye, you're on your own. A lot of people said, hey, you're out of my house yep. or it's time for you to go. But we're understanding now that those supports need to continue. Principal Hill, how hey, are you? I'm wonderful. Good, you to you? Good to see you. Von Washington, Washington is with the Kalamazoo Promise in Michigan. It's a program that offers high school graduates in Kalamazoo scholarships covering up to the entire cost of in-state college tuition. The impact? Well, the number of Kalamazoo women getting a college degree did increase by about 45 percent. But the number of Kalamazoo men getting college degrees didn't budge. We're working with them. We're talking to them. We're trying to find. How insane is that? They started giving out scholarships left, right, center. And the number of women that started getting degrees increased by around 45%. And the number of males that took advantage of those opportunities, 0%, did not change. Isn't it like, y'all, come on. How much proof do I have to show you? I'm dying here. It's like, what? In... <sighs> Look at this. This is the truth. And yet, because it's a patriarchy, they continue to funnel money and investments that they will never see um, returns on towards the males. They don't. Th what they need is not more help. It, th this whole thing is already a patriarchy. So if 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 you males can't figure out the true issue, which it's obvious what the true issue is, you don't want to look internally, do you? then you're going to continue to fall behind. Because women are going to continue to take advantage of every single resource and males are going to be sitting there continuing to look stupid. Find out what is it that even with this opportunity, you have some of the same challenges as someone in another community that doesn't have this opportunity. One solution, though, that does seem to be working is making sure that those men who are struggling have a place to freely admit they're struggling. Do he have a cell number you can give me? Staffers with The Promise are tracking down those men still eligible for the scholarship, finding out why they never used it, and helping them get what they need to finally do it. Like Daniel Joffrey. I just started wandering around in life and doing random jobs, getting tired of random jobs. and We welcome you here to the Kalamazoo Promise. Now I'm here. <laughs> need help up here? He joined with dozens of other men at what The Promise was calling the Males of Promise event. It's important that you put something positive out here on your name and on your future. It was as much straight talk as it was straight out party. Dennis Martin graduated high school six years ago. He says had The Promise not tracked him down, he might not have realized that he was indeed ready for something more. I feel like now so irritating to me 
how these males continue to need to be babied every step of the way. While us women have to continue to fight for every inch. But you know what? That's okay. Because that's why we're stronger than you. Literally, that's why we own everything. That's why we're taking over the whole thing. Even though you're the one that created the, the system in the first place. You can't even hold on to it. So irritate. Look at how many resources they're dedicating to this. As if we don't already live under a patriarchy. Insane. Y'all, I cannot. Now I have the discipline to be in a five-year program or four-year program. But <laughs> as a kid, I feel like I was still bouncing off the walls and my mind didn't know what exactly is out there. Back at UVM, administrators have changed their marketing and communication strategies to reach out to men, especially those who might not think they want to go to college at all. The college is also hiring a diversity coordinator to focus specifically on helping men. The world was built for people like you and me to succeed, so why do we need to help men succeed here on, on our campus even more? It's crazy, and in order to do that, they're taking resources away from the women, as usual. I need you to see what they're doing and what they continue to do. So in order to do that, oh, we're changing marketing materials to target males specifically. So they continue to rob from the woman in order to, to try and save their dying species. It is not going to help you, sir. It's not going to help you because the problem is not external. It's like, what is going on? Like, do they not have a brain? Even the ones with glasses. <laughs> so us women who are still only making 82 cents to a dollar that every male makes, you still want to continue to rob, all, rob us of our resources, of the things that could help us further our education because you're falling behind when you've had 10,000 years to figure it out. What makes you think that you will all of a sudden figure it out now? It is not going to happen. But ladies, I want you to see how they continue to treat us. Then they start wondering why women no longer want to have kids with these animals underneath this patriarchy that literally disadvantages and in a lot of ways hates women. Unacceptable. And they just, you know, they want to frame it like it's so great. We're, we're helping everyone. No, you're helping males. And males already have the advantage. We are the ones still at a disadvantage. Yet you continue to try to take from us to help them. I don't get it. The math is not mathing. Sounds like boy math to me. More, but I think once people start to understand uh, the nuances and the challenges that that we're talking about here today, Lee, uh, people understand that that all students need support. Junior Lucas Romer. All students need support, yet you're changing your marketing messaging to directly target males. You just said that. Do you? Th do they think we're stupid? Do you think we're stupid? Do they think we're stupid, y'all? Like I don't understand. Do they think we're dumb? All student needs support. But you just told me that you changed your marketing to target males directly. Underneath a patriarchy. Like, what planet are we on? Y'all. Doesn't see it as some kind of affirmative action putting the finger on the scale for men. He sees it as a way to help anyone who's been hanging on and feeling left out. I think there's ways to promote both femininity and masculinity on campus equally well. I think there's definitely a path forward that would be beneficial to everybody. The coordinator of the Men and Masculinities program will be housed right here in the Women and Gender Equity Center. Now that's pretty ironic to some, but it's also a recognition that men's problems can indeed coexist with those of women. You lift the edges up, the center will be lifted up as well. Hmm. Um, and here, the edges include men. It's the kind of reaction to a very real...
the edges include men. What have y'all been doing for the past 10,000 years? All of those years that women were stuck in the house, cooking, cleaning, breeding children. What did you use that time for? Y'all, when I get, ugh, this irritates me so much. Like, I get so irritated. Y'all, I can't. The problem of boys and men that Richard Reeves says needs now to be the rule and not the exception. This is not a made up crisis of masculinity. It's made up. Line, the, the lies from the pit of hell. Making stuff up. You, y'all have, y'all, y'all have the entire patriarchy and you want to cry me a river. Sir, goodbye. Goodbye. You're literally making stuff up. Gaslighting me, trying to tell me that it's not made up when you're making it up right in front of me. So y'all, I just wanted to take the time for us to, to review this. It's insane to me, but leave it in the comments below. Let me know what you think. They continue to take from us to feed themselves, even though there is no return on investment and there they're ne they're never will be. And they keep trying to like paint it as if it's some generous it's like look sir we're not stupid okay like women they're trying to get the, the women's support is what they're trying to do so they think we're dumb w look sir we're not dumb okay give it up we see what you're doing making stuff up so we're just gonna pretend like we didn't see the manosphere we don't see the manosphere fair there where all, most males reside. We're just going to pretend that's not there, huh? We're, we're just going to pretend all the, this, this man hate is not there, huh? We're just going to pretend that the United Nations didn't make it a global crisis, gender, didn't make gender-based violence against women from men a global crisis. We just going to pretend that didn't happen, huh? Sir, goodbye. Oh my God, I get so mad. They think we're so dumb. They really do. Look, look at his stupid face. Look how stupid he looks. No lips, just looking dumb. <laughs> All right, y'all, leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to hit that, that like button, smash that subscribe button. Thank you so much for joining me today. And I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye.